Lomachenko says Haney will be a hard fight, but he's not comparable to Mayweather. Let's dissect a little bit of this. Push the weight in your flex, flex the lavish one in the six. Hey, fit the runner boy, you need no question. You would run a motherfucker high stepping. Hey, you never had a big enough weapon. Hey, motherfucker never learned your lesson. Hey, I'm an 88 pack nigga. Boof. I'm an 88 pack nigga. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, they walk and drink blood, fangs out for more. Motherfucker change like a hoe, brother. I'm just a nigga from the hood trying to stack a little cheddar for the money. Drew Titan, Bronze on deck. Shout out to the mighty L D B C. Uh, boxing scene. I'll put the link in the description if you care to read it. Uh, just thought this was very interesting. Um, Lomachenko says Haney's strong and smart and will be hard to fight, but he's not comparable to Mayweather. Um, you can read it, uh, but there were some key things that uh that I, I found uh, very interesting. It says here that Haney's coming off of an impressive two-fight beatdown against George Cambosis in 2022 that even captured the attention of two-time Olympics gold medalists of the, of the Ukraine. So it took him beating down George Cambosis to catch his attention. Now, you see, right here, this is where I have a problem. This is where I have a problem. It said it captured the attention of the two-time Olympics gold medalist of the Ukraine. Let me be very clear. Devin Haney had Lomachenko's attention from the time he vacated the WBC title and accepted, I'm sorry, requested the WBC franchise status, which is a mythical belt that was made up was made up there are three franchise statuses roaming around thanks to Mauricio Suleiman and his antics all they did was further confuse fight fans we already have enough belts and that's another thing the franchise status is what it is it's a status read up. I'm not going to get into what it is just read on it read up it's the information out there ladies and gentlemen use the internet for what it's for because a lot of you haters were very quick to call Devin Haney the email champion completely disregarding who sent the email if you want to really get technical with it the email was sent by this man Vasily Lomachenko okay if you want to say the franchise status is indeed that why would you make it into a physical belt in my opinion the franchise status should be fought for. It should be held as a tournament. I have this status. Get together like four to six guys, have them fight, and the winner gets awarded a special status and, and a cash prize, and they have the option to go and get a title shot up in weight, down in weight, but they never lose that status because they fought for it. But no, this franchise situation is a mockery of the sport. A fighter has to request it, as per Mauricio Suleiman. And there's a board in the WBC that votes on it. And it's either yay or nay. So far, they haven't told anyone no. Now, what I just explained to you is what Mauricio Suleiman has said on record to several outlets. So how did the first one get invented? When it was Canelo Alvarez's time to fight Jamal Charlo, that's when we saw the first one. And we was like, what is this? The supporters of the sport was like, what is this? And Mauricio Suleiman just explained to you, the audience, what I just explained in a nutshell. And we were still confused. We was like, so what does this mean? In short, that meant Canelo Alvarez did not have to fight Jamal Charlo. Instead, He'll fight a Liam Kalem, a uh, Amir Khan, who recently popped dirty, and any anywhere around a Jamal Charlo. Anywhere around. Avni Yildrim. No Andre, though. And no sooner than, than we thought that, okay, that's one mess, but we will deal with that as it goes. Another one pops up. 
So I, I, I have reasonable cause to believe that Canelo Alvarez requested, yo, get me out of this fight. Do something, Mauricio. Oh, okay, I got it. Boom. Not only can we give you the status, but we can remove the WBC strap from you. And whoever gets the WBC strap, which ended up being, you know, Charlo or, or Haney, the fans who, A, love you unconditionally, B, hate the black fighters that are in pursuit, and C, old media and their antics just don't care, we'll just cut down the fighters that end up with the real WBC strap. They cut down Jamal Charlo. They cut down Devin Haney. And they totally disregard the people who held the belts prior. So this is what we're dealing with here. So don't tell me in this article that a, a win that Haney had, the two wins that he had over George Cambosis caught your attention. Devin Haney been had Vasily Lomachenko's attention. You have to read these articles, ladies and gentlemen. And if you understand what's going on, if you understand the truth, they can't lie to you. A person that doesn't know any better will just read this and just read it, just, just to be reading it. This is absurd and it's very disrespectful. It says here, Lomachenko labeled Haney's uh, second fight against George Cambos as a high level. And, uh, it, 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 he labeled it as high level in an interview with BoxScene.com and other reporters. He said, I liked it. Uh, now he has big experience in big fights. I respect and like his style. He's a very strong and smart boxer. It will be very, very hard fight. I'm reading it how it's interpreted because, you know, he speaks English as a second language that I know of. He says, my experience is very important in this fight. We are both boxers of a high level. It will be interesting for boxing. You see, Loma, if you really felt you was better than Devin, you took care of that business two and a half years ago instead of requesting uh, a franchise status. And let me remind you who are going to act like you forget. Let me reiterate for the people that already know. And let me enlighten for the people that don't know. And let me squash the, the, the words of the haters. Whether Mauricio, because Vasily said that Mauricio called him and it was offered to them and they accepted it. Mauricio said, no, they contacted us and he reminded us of what the rules were. And he said they voted on it and said, hey, you can have it. Now, if Mauricio's lying, Vasily, and he offered it to you, guess what? You still took it. And you went to fight Teofimo Lopez because you thought that was the lesser of two evils. And you thought you can beat him. And you lost. Even Teofimo Lopez thinks he got away at 140. But Bill already said, yo, it's not about money. It's not about belts. It's about what you said. So when he's done here, they're coming up for 140 for Teofimo Lopez. But that's another story for another time. Right now, we're just dealing with Vasily Lomachenko, the Matrix. Right? He could have took care of this Devin Haney issue uh, uh, two years ago. But thanks to him, there's another franchise status roaming around here. And I might add, they changed the rules right after Vasily lost. Tiafima wins. He requested it. They gave it to him. When the franchise status was first invented, it was non-transferable. That means you was awarded it and you had it for life. Do you see this mess? I'm going to keep speaking on it. When Lomachenko was asked if he'd compare Haney to Mayweather, like others have, Lomachenko squashed the narrative. So now it's a narrative. He says, maybe I don't know if he could be compared to Mayweather. For me, not. But for somebody, maybe yes, said Lomachenko. All right, this is a very short read. The link will be in the description. Let me explain to you. Let me, let me explain to you what I got from that last statement, okay? Um... Look, dig this here, man. I've spoken to Bill. I've had a lot of in-depth conversations with the brother. And a lot of people are not going to like this because it's going to be impossible. You know, they're going to say, oh, it's impossible. But I'm going to go ahead and say it, and I don't care. No, you can't compare Devin to Mayweather. You know why? He might be better. Down the road, he might be better. 
let's analyze this. Number one, in stature, he's bigger. He's bigger. In my opinion, so far, so far, although it's a different skill set, the skill set is on the same level for now. Now, I know the haters are going to come in here and talk about, what about Lenores? You know what I'm going to ask you? What about Shane Mosley? Stop acting like Floyd Mayweather never lost a round. Stop acting like he never got buzzed before. Maidana buzzed him, knocked his damn tooth out. Okay? Emmanuel Augustus was one of Floyd's hardest fights at the lighter weight. Chop Chop Corley was a hard fight for him. Let's stop it. Mayweather got out the game undefeated. But let's not act like this can't be done again. Why he could be better? Do y'all remember uh, uh, Pretty Boy Floyd when he was running around? chasing smoke running and trying to run into uh burning buildings but nobody would give him a shot there's a whole mixtape of floyd calling out everybody of relevance when he was a, a fighter on top rank he called out prince nasim hamed he called out asalino freitas he called out shane mosey oscar de la hoya back then those guys was th th those those two guys was the a side they chose to fight each other twice they wasn't even thinking about Floyd. It's on YouTube. Floyd Mayweather called out everybody of relevance. And he was ignored. Devin Haney is doing the exact same thing. And instead of you guys who hate Devin Haney for whatever reason, instead of you guys saying, hey, man, Loma, get in the ring with this kid and stop this. Y'all were content with it not even happening because you know why? Deep down, you knew. Well, here we are. Fight signed. And magically, Lomachenko vanishes off a pound-for-pound -pound list. As he, he's been on every pound-for-pound -pound list for the last five or six years. I don't know exactly, but I, I don't recall him not being on one. Even after his second pro fight loss to Orlando Salido, that he never ran back. I remember the excuses for that. Oh, well, he was winning, he was winning the second half of the fight. So uh, no, no, no. Run it back. Tiafima Lopez. He's open to running it back, but he don't want to go to 140 and run it back. Whose fault is that? And now we're hearing he's not a real 135 pounder. And then he vanishes off of a pound for pound list. It's sort of like y'all know what's about to happen to him. So yeah, Devin is not Floyd. It's a little bigger. He's not done growing yet. I'm reading other articles talking about, oh, they, they're talking about, oh my God, Devin Haney's a gargantuan. They use the word Devin Haney and gargantuan in the same sentence. They've never even said that about Tyson Fury. They've never even said that. Get out of here. Name one heavyweight fighter that Deontay Wilder fought that he was heavier than. Name one. Go ahead. The excuse is already made because they have a feeling what's going to happen. So I'm going to ask the haters the same question I asked about the AJ fans. Where's the Lomachenko fans? I went to the Rigo fight in New York. They were there. They were there. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of excuses here. Floyd Mayweather would be the least of your worries, my man. Not only am I picking Devin to win this fight, Do not be surprised if he stops uh, uh, Loma. Do not be surprised if he quits on his on his stool. <laughs> the writing's on the wall. He should have took this fight when it was uh, uh, when it was there. 
Now I'm hearing, oh, he's old, 35 years old. He's the same age as Bud Crawford, the same age. Oh, but he had 390 amateur fights. So? Ain't no one told him to do that. 390-some-odd amateur fights. They throw it in our face to market him all this time. Gets in the ring with Orlando Salido, second pro fight, and loses. You should have stopped talking about amateur uh, pedigree right then and there. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Bronx on deck. Move!